downstairs is just a basic crafting room. Uh, there's nothing flash. It's just all the things in a circle. And another person. Let's see if the poop I put in them earlier is still there. Yeah, it is. See? For human feces. <laughs> Hey there folks, Maisie, I'm reporting for duty, and today we're playing Ark Survival Evolved on Josh's Ark of Fun, PvE 10 times S plus all welcome, exclamation point, exclamation point. <laughs> That's where we're at right now. Uh, you can get information to the server in uh, the description below. It actually is a public server that is private. It's unofficial, but you can get on it without a password, and you can come play here if you want. And today we're checking out a base of a dude named Darkling. And if you see right here, it is amazing. Look at it. It is an architectural feat of amazingness. It's right in front of us. we got a couple other things to look at, too, out in the bay and across the way. And we've got a tanning pen over here that's really unique and well done. And we're going to look at all of this stuff. But right now I'm going to join the master, the architect of all of this stuff down here in his base. His name is Darkling. What's up, dude? Hey, man. How's it going? Pretty well, man. I gotta say that this thing is, uh, this is an epic build of all epicness. This is definitely one of the best things I've ever seen. Yeah, there's a lot of work's gone into it. Um, it's a real FPS killer, though, the, with the amount of structures in here. It is, it is. Oh, I got, I don't know how to disable on my chat. I better fix that. Oh, I've also got levels. I better fix that. Let's, let's uh, increase the movement speed so that I can actually follow you around. That's probably a good idea. So what are we looking at, man? Show me through. Okay, so um, obviously the the whole build is pretty symmetrical. Um, the outer platform is the, the main dyno storage. Um, up through the main entrance here, you can actually fit uh, pretty much any dyno up here except for a Giga. Um, the sloped ramp through the hatch frame allows a lot of dynos to fit even the Golem. Um, main courtyard is where we basically keep stuff that we've got on the go. Uh, obviously the storage in the middle there. Um, the kitchen facilities above that with a landing platform, we can cover that. Um, we'll probably want to start by having a look downstairs um, this, through this giant hatch frame. Sure, that, man. That, that enters the underground facility. So there's all sorts under here. Um, it looks better at night, but this is the tavern facility. Oh, man, this is amazing. So you've got tables for all your patrons, and you've used the S plus tables as the circular tables around the outside. That's awesome. Yeah, I like to lose, use everything I can, and while we do have a few other mods on here, I try to stick with pure S+. And you've got the bar. I didn't even notice this. So you've got the bar in here, and, and the bar is made of the storage chest. That's awesome. And then back here, you've got your brewery, right? Yeah, that's the one. Um, took a little while to get this sorted, but it came out quite good. It did come out good. This is awesome, man. And you've got, like, the storage boxes for all of the, the cores up there and whatnot. Yeah, they're all accessible. Um, the the actual S plus fridges, because of that new uh, facility where you can put the ceiling through it, you can stack them as high as you want, really. That's amazing. So yeah, upstairs from the tavern, you've also got the the lodging facilities uh, oh. in case someone wants to come and stay. Up, where's the upstairs? Turns around backwards. Oh. Oh, okay. The slit. Slot. Oh, so this is where all the people go and pass out when they've had too much to drink. Yes. Or, or if they're getting to anything else that they need to be for. You know, I don't know why people don't do this in real life. You know, if you think about it, if you if you coupled your bar with, like, a place for people to crash, you could make a lot of money. You'd be like, oh, yeah, you can go oh, sleep upstairs, but it's going to cost you $90. Oh, heaps, eh? You'd make absolutely the killing. Uh, further along is the downstairs dino pen. Um, this is a bit of a mess at the moment, but we keep... This was built with the glass floor just for the dilo, or dila, as everyone calls them, um, because they fall through the foundation uh, when they render in with the glass floor. You don't notice it. And then you've got the, the pony stable. Yep, yep. Uh, there's a sheep pen on the other side. Very nice. What's next? What's next? Okay, so uh, if we go through back into the central room, we can move around to the prison. Oh, this is where you keep all the scoundrels. Yeah, yeah, we, we don't get a lot. 
looks like you got one right here. His name is uh, Wolfie. And so I'm going to poop, and then I'm going to take the poop, and I'm going to put it in his in inventory as punishment. I, it sounds like the way to go. I can't put it in his inventory. Oh, oh well, we'll save this poop for somebody else. So in the center, we have the execution pit, um, just in case. We've never had to use it yet, but we never know. There's quite a few prison uh, cells all the way around, including up on the mezzanine floor. And I've got the S plus gardeners as my uh, armory guard. Oh, they definitely make good guards, man. And I love the, the attention to detail of the aesthetics and that you use the S plus glass and change the um, brrr, the transparency so that some of it's like transparent and then some of it is not. Yeah, I, I, I like to have some of it nice and clear so you get that big open feel. So this is the throne room, uh, or at least as throny as uh, two chairs actually get. <laughs> the two chairs, yeah, they got to make a throne for this, but then they'll probably get like a Game of Thrones strike or something. Yeah, no doubt. Cool, so this is uh, pretty awesome, and then you had something back here too, right? Yep, yep, this goes down into, if it was a real royalty, they'd have um, obviously their, their bolts hidden away. And then you've got yeah, the, the you... one-way glass so that you can see what's going on before you go in. Oh, of course. That's, every king has to be able to overlook his um, people without them being able to see. Oh, very nice. Uh, just a little bedroom here in case they, they get bored and need a nap. Or some, some, some quick cool. relations. Yeah, something like that. Royal relations. Um, royal... And then, obviously... To kill the mood, the execution pit, uh, so they can watch it without being seen. Oh yeah, for, for front row seats to death, amazing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the way to go. Uh, and this game really thrives on that. Very nice. And so, where are we headed to next? Um, next, we would be heading to the shooting range. Oh, very nice. So you got like table. It's too bad you can't put guns on these tables because that would just like give it a, so much more effect. That, that is exactly what I thought when I put them in. But um, we, yeah, we we've mucked around with it a few times, but unfortunately, shooting guns don't set the dummies off. Only actual melee weapons. Oh, well, that's dumb. They need to fix that. So after a sweaty day, we've also got the shower rooms. Oh, so you go work off your steam in the in the in the shooting range, and then you come and get steamed in the shower. That's the one. That's the one. And I, I had to make them all so you can't see through them. You know, some people like privacy. You don't have like the one voyeur shower, like for for the one like dude or lady that wants to be seen by everybody. <laughs> there oh, we go. There we go. I'm taking a shower. Everybody can look at me. It makes me feel happy inside. Yep, we'll take care of now. <laughs> that, that can be the forever known as the Mazion shower. The Maz Mazion's voyeur shower of epicness. That's, I, I like it. Okay, and then uh, tucked away here is the uh, cinema. Oh, that's neat, man. That's pretty awesome. You've even got the window at the back for the projector. Yeah, I thought that was, you had to have that in the cinema. Yeah, I mean, it's perfect. The attention to detail, like I said, the aesthetics of all the stuff that you're doing and the fact that you've found, you know, some sort of facility to build in each of the places that you have in the base is really, really cool. Yeah, it's, it's actually quite hard to come up with new ideas to, as to what to build for the aesthetic builds because you're, you're limited by the East Plus facilities. You know, there's not a lot to play with. Right, I feel you. Um, obviously the composting area um because you know with 72 plots we we go through a lot of fertilizer the poop room this this should be your broom shouldn't it i i mean i could probably poop in it maybe no not ready to defecate okay so that's the downstairs facilities um all looked in it um oh this is, yeah 
There's a bull on back in here. Yeah, that's my tribe mate. Um, he's only recently joined us on the server after the server crash we had. He missed leg day. He's got very skinny legs. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know how well he is for running. So yeah, that's the downstairs. Um, then there's the kitchen facility. There's the preserving room on the um, courtyard level. Downstairs is just a basic crafting room. Uh, there's nothing flash. It's just all the things in a circle. And another person. Let's see if the poop I put in them earlier is still there. Yeah, it is. See, for human feces. That's Bull's friend. He was um, trying out the game, so hopefully he comes back. And then obviously upstairs we've got the main kitchen. Very nice. Um, I, I always do a lot of extra storage, even fridges, because um, I, I'd, I'd rather have too much than not enough. And so you put the Jones Egg and Poop Collector and the Thatch and Fertilizer Silo here centrally located so they can do the distribution the way that they're supposed to, but you said there was a problem. They're not distributing to your compost? No, no. When I first put them in, um, that compost facility down there was running absolutely primo, you know, getting all the fert coming through. But um, just recently, it seems to have had the range reduced or something because it really doesn't reach there anymore. Bollocks. Yeah, what can you do? You can rage and yell at them in their discussion section. Uh, that's not going to get me anywhere. You know, it's better to leave a polite note. So, yeah, um, if you actually look up, you can see most of the, the construction of the facility, um, all the ramps are self-supporting. So the entire top section of the base is held up just by these three ramps. Very nice. And this is your landing pad for your kitchen, right? So that you can bring yeah. down all the things. Yep, nice quick trip in and out if you need to. Um, I mean, if you need to pick up kibble from the kitchen or whatnot. Where to now? Okay, so from here we might as well have a quick look under the, the main ramps. There's actually little pillboxes under here. This is what? What are we, so, what are we looking at? We looking at? The, this is the pillbox. So if, if, I know we're not on PvP, but if someone does, does decide to raid, we've got uh, overlooking the courtyard, we can take them out without being seen. Oh, very nice. And up the ramp goes to our flyer deck. So any quitters within um, RGs and whatnot. Which then in turn goes up to the armory. Um, so any, uh, we're, since the server crash, we're actually a lot lower on stuff than we normally are. But um, everything equipment or weapon based is kept in here. So he was explaining to me that they had a server crash where there's a corruption of their backups on the, on the, on the uh, uh, server side from their host. And so if you he hear him refer to the server crash, that's what he's talking about. Uh, so they did get a, like a, a really large rollback because there were some old saves, but none of the new saves were there. Yeah, it was like a year old. Um, the When the server update crashed, uh, like it, it modded the server wrong. And because it kept running, it um, broke over all the old um, rollback data. Never good. And then, so this uh, level you've got here is your gardening level, yeah? Yep, yep. There's 70, uh, I think there's at least 72 plots around here. And then you had some that are empty. Why are they empty? Um, those are, there's only one section that's empty at the moment. That was, um, we were thinking of putting some stim berries or something like that in, but we hadn't had the need for them. So I've just kept it as, as is at the moment. You have a lot of yeah. crops. Yeah, yeah, I give it a lot away. Um, behind you is the door for one of the towers. Um, this is a purely aesthetic. Um, if we ever get any tribe mates join us, they can have one of the rooms up here. Oh, these are the towers, right. And so there's uh, it's like a whole bunch of apartments stacked until you get to the top where there's like a hangar for, for a flyer. Yep, that's the one. Uh, just a small hangar. It'll hold a IG or a Terror. Um, you can put the um, tapes in here, but the head sticks through the roof. And then on the very top, obviously, you can use it as a landing platform as well. Very nice. Oh, you actually can go up here. Yep. 
Oh, cool. So if you look uh, out, you can see that there's three of these, so we can see what we're, we're standing on. You see those those other two towers right there. Yeah, so all three are identical, um, other than, you know, the furniture's laid in a different way. Um, I use a lot of these two high doorways because um, if you've upped your creature uh, player's height, you can't fit through the standard doors. Oh. Yeah, I'm super tall. And obviously, there's the other ramps going upwards again. And that goes to the connection to the spire. Oh, so the big, the big thing, the big oh, part, yeah. the big part, the, the, the main, the main facility. Yeah. Down is so nothing. nothing. Down is yeah, that was going to be an S plus gardener, but it doesn't doesn't actually reach to the crop plots. Then a bunch of copyrighted pictures that I should not have looked I at. Not have looked at. Uh, yeah, that's one. Then up to the library. Again, the the library is a little bit sparse at the moment in the way of actual blueprints uh, from the crash. And it's still very cool. Very cool design. And then it's up into the boardroom and then uh, two bedroom chambers off that for myself and my main tribe mate. And your bedroom was ballerific. So your tribe mate's still working on his. I see that it's really empty. And then if we go to your bedroom, you've got like a mezzanine, like in everything. It's like all set up with two levels. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I get a bit crazy at times. Um, if I ever do a build, I, I generally do it pretty elaborate. It's really awesome. You've got attention to detail like ever. Even when you got your own shower. Of course. And notice that this one doesn't have the see-through walls. Well, right. But the, aren't you the only one that lives in this room? Yeah, still on my privacy. And then from this level upwards, it goes into the upstairs hangar, um, which is mostly empty at the moment. I'll be moving a lot of the smaller flyers up here at some point. Very nice. And then on the very top, we were at the top of the base. Yeah, this will be where I'll actually move a lot of my my quits platform saddles. Um, like the quits cage and the carrier will probably actually get moved up here now. I like how you've got a design up here made out of the glass. I love doing that myself. You've got to have something, eh? It just, just ties things in nicely. And I, I have to admit, I did actually watch your hex base just before I did this. Oh, well, that's definitely probably helpful. <laughs> yep, yep. So now for the long trip downwards, um, you're welcome to take the bird down if you want to. Take the what? The turd down? Turd down? Yeah, you can take the terror down. Oh, I thought you said turd. No, I'll walk. It's all right. So we have two more things to look at, right? So no, three. We've got the water pan and we've got a hatchery and we've got a um taming pen so we're going to be right back with you at those locations in just a moment so just outside the main gate of this place we've got his taming pen now he's told me a little bit pickle mastax oh no it's a it's a kill it kill kill he what did he rob me of uh, oh i don't care he didn't take anything important and so it's, it's he's telling me about it. it's a multi-level right yeah, that's the one. Um, I, on the last build of it, I actually had two tames dropped in on me, so I decided to make it too high. Um, also, no foundations in the middle because we found that tames were tending to actually fall through the foundation if we left the render range. Well, that's a pain in the burt. Yeah, well, you, you got to work with it. Um, so, yeah, the second level, you have access the same way as the a normal taming pen, you know, doorways up the walls. But there's also a, the, the hatch frame snapped in in a funny place, but it allows you to do multiples. And then you can also look up and see the, the enlarged drop zone. Very nice. Oh, so do they like, they like slide down in there? Yeah, so a lot of people have problems dropping into some of the smaller area taming pens. Whereas this one, they'll drop in and then they'll wander around and they'll just fall naturally into the, the new space. Very nice. Ah! All right, so... Oh, no, you're not allowed to come out. 
No, you, no, you stay. <laughs> I, I was letting you out. You kept trying to press it too. Yeah, I've had that before. Okay, okay. so. What? Uh, I suppose we'll check out the bay facilities now. Yeah, so right out in the center of this place, there's uh, something that's pretty special. It's uh, I've never seen anything built quite like this. And, and this particular island, South Tropics on the center, uh, has a big self-contained bay. So if you block it off, it can be like a giant water pen. Yeah, so our one's set up so that if anybody on the server wants to use it, the bay entrance gate is actually unlocked so they can have it. So the facility in the middle, that's um, all the landing platforms so that anybody visiting the bay has a safe place to go. Can you get your wyvern on one? Uh, usually. I bet it's difficult, man. Oh, you you landed in the water. Or did you land on the bottom thing? Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Nice. yeah, there's some on the bottom as well. Very nice. So, yeah, this is a really cool design for a landing pad for a, a, a water pen that's community use. Um, obviously, you have to have S plus to do this, but it is I, I'm, I'm very impressed by this design. It's very, very well thought out, especially since um, can you, you can you walk up to these from anywhere? No, you. Oh, you have to use the middle spire. So the middle spire has got the spiral staircase and you can get up and down all you want which is amazing. And so I actually didn't check out the last time we were here. I wanted to see how your build for blocking off the bay is. I do like the the bridge is very, very straight. Um, it's very nice. And we're uh, having a server save, I think. There we go. Or my computer locked up one or the other because you, you blipped across. But I need to uh, come and land and have a look right here. All right, so you guys use the walls and you build from the top down when you used S+. Plus. That's awesome. It looks really, really nice. Yeah, it came out pretty well. Um, I ran ceilings across first because it, if you actually build foundations down into the water and change heights too many times, it doesn't actually line up at the other end. Now, this looks really good. This is and an epic obviously. bridge. And then obviously the what we office, uh, obviously want to call you the UFO. Um, it's our hatchery facility with the spiral staircase tower. That's a big UFO, man. It's got some weird, like, is that it blasting off? Is that the little blasty off thing on the bottom? Yeah, oh. I can only assume that's what it is. Didn't you build it? Yeah, the, you know, <laughs> builds, builds take on a life of their own. So this is your hatchery. You've got your uh, ink uh, incubator. I was gonna say incubator egg, but egg incubator sitting here. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, it's from the Jones mod. Um, I've actually got to change all my S plus troughs over to vanilla ones because I actually had some juvies starved the other day because they wouldn't take the food out of them. Never good. No, not really. And then obviously you're on the landing platform. Oh, so I can't get in there from here. No, you have to come in from the main facility. I made all the walls as invisible as I could so that um, it, it gave you a real open feel. I'm sorry, you're getting kind of quiet, buddy. Sorry, um, I, I made all the glass up the ramp as clear as I could so you had that real open feel about it. Oh, very nice. Um, all up here is public access. Um, anyone wants to use the, the crafting facilities, it's all unlocked. And obviously, as I'm a big fan of landing platforms, the very top is a big as landing platform. Very nice. So why did you make the UFO? Like, why did you make this facility all the way up here? Well, on, before the server crash, we actually started doing a community build area and uh, the idea was we each got to build a structure in this facility and we were going to try and push the limits of what we could build and I did a smaller version of this tower and since the server restart I've wanted to replace it with something uh, uh, even bigger. Oh, very nice. 
cool, man. This is all good stuff. And so we've we've got nighttime, and we were talking about looking at your base at nighttime. So we want to make sure we get on the flyers and have a look at that real quick before we finish up. Yep, we'll just hit down now. Then. Bum, bum. So yeah, I just want to tell you, man, like, this stuff is all very, very uh, good and unique, and I haven't seen a lot of builds like this, to be honest with you. I've got the patron server where people do a lot of building and stuff, and I haven't really seen anybody do anything quite like this. It's really, really cool. Yeah, well, like I said, I've had uh, two and a half thousand hours of single player, so I didn't even know what other people were up to, other than what the Pooping Evolve guys were posting. So that's why they call it the UFO, because at night it looks like a, like a flying saucer. Oh, yeah. Try to hit the K real quick so we can look at all this stuff real easy. Got that over there. There's the pad, and now we're going to fly in and render in the base nighttime base might take a little while it'll be all right yeah i think it's pushing eleven thousand five hundred structures now eleven thousand five hundred yeah i hit the build limit uh ten thousand five hundred and i was allowed an extra thousand awesome render in base show me all of your majesty and glory I can see inside your bedroom from here. Who who needs the clear shower? I can just watch you from here. Oh, uh, that's disturbing. <laughs> Sweet. Sweet. Well, I do want to mention to you guys again that the server is called Josh's Ark of Fun PVE 10 times S plus all welcome. If you can find that, uh, the IP address is 103.62.50.1. It's on port 7777. I do not know what the query port is, and I'll tell you, I tried to add this to my Steam favorites that way, and it did not work for me. So what I ended up having to do was finding it on uh, arcservers.net and then clicking the IP address while I had the game open to be able to join. So if you are trying to get on the server, I don't know what the query port is, uh, but that was the way that I found my way here, was using the IP address at arcservers.net, and I went ahead and, and was able to find it. Now, I guess they when they had the crash they lost a lot of players they are welcome to having new players on the server so if you want to come and uh, see awesome builds and work with these people you can come and hang out and you can find that stuff in the description below as well but here's the, the place at night looks pretty epic man i need to like zoom out a little bit here it's super laggy oh yeah it's worse at night because of all the light shadows well, very nice, man. I want to thank you very much for inviting me in and being so hospitable. I appreciate you very much. And I know that you uh, have been watching the series. Like you said, you watch The Great Hex. Uh, you, you, you've been watching Pooping Evolve for a while. And I really appreciate your support there. And I appreciate you bringing me in to see your awesome build because it was definitely worth the trip. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I hope everyone else does too. If you did, make sure you leave a comment below, guys. If you liked the episode, make sure you blast the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to Amazing On Plays Games. And as always, be excellent to each other. Have a great day. See you later.